Hey what's up volleyball community, hope you guys are doing well. Hari from Wonder of Volleyball here and welcome to my corner of the internet. In this channel, you will be getting to know about all things volleyball. Like and subscribe and let's get into today's video. If you are a beginner player looking to learn about the governing bodies of volleyball, this is the perfect video for you. Volleyball is a wonderful group sport and it has an international governing body as well as each country has their own governing body for the sport as well. In this video, I'll be talking in detail about the governing bodies of volleyball, which are the countries that consistently perform at the highest level for both men's and women's national teams, the new FIB ranking system and much more. But before we get into the video, here's an interesting fact about volleyball. Volleyball was initially played as an indoor only sport and the very first beach volleyball match was played in 1930. The International Volleyball Federation The International Volleyball Federation is the major governing body that regulates volleyball matches played all around the globe and in local bodies as well. It is founded in 1947 at Paris to establish the rules and regulations for the sport to be followed by both international and local governing bodies. It works with all the member national federations to regulate the sport and private enterprises to make volleyball a truly entertaining sport globally. The current headquarters of FIB is located in Lausanne, Switzerland. This is the governing body for beach volleyball all across the globe. It conducts World Championship, World Cup, Volleyball National League and all kinds of volleyball related tournaments and events for both senior and junior volleyball players. Paul Libord served as the first president of FIB and after his retirement in 1964, the headquarters moved from Paris to Switzerland. Women's volleyball was first introduced in 1952 and it was accepted by FIB in 1964 as an integral part of the sport. The USA Volleyball Federation The organization that regulates volleyball in the USA is USA Volleyball Federation. It conducts training for both volleyball players and coaches all around the country. Also, it is the body that is responsible for organizing volleyball tournaments for both junior and senior players in the country. The USA Volleyball Federation follows a modified version of the FIB rules. To deal with the collegiate and high school volleyball events and tournaments, the National Collegiate Athletics Association NCA, and the National Federation for High Schools NFHS were established respectively. They too follow their own set of modified FIB rules, which are the consistent top performing men's volleyball teams Poland, Italy, France. Brazil, Russia, USA, Japan, Argentina, 
Slovenia and Iran are the consistent top performing countries in men's volleyball. Which are the consistently top performing countries in women's volleyball? Serbia, Italy, Brazil, the USA, China, Japan, Turkey, Russia, Dominican Republic, and Poland are the consistent top performing countries in women's volleyball. How does the new FIB ranking system works? In 2020, FIB introduced a brand new ranking system in order to transparently rank teams for the qualification based tournaments. Important details you need to know about the new FIB ranking system. There's a new algorithm that's employed to rank the teams. The algorithm will take into consideration six different types of matches and their outcomes. The data will be taken for two competing teams. The different match results include 3-0 win, 3-1 win, 3-2 win, 2-3 loss, 1-3 loss, and 0-3 loss. There will be an expected results predicted before every match. The predicted result will be matched with the actual result of the match once it gets over. The predicted match result will have direct impact on the global rankings of a team. Teams win and lose points based on their actual match performance. Before a match, the global ranking points of each team will be projected. A team with the highest global ranking points is deemed to win the match in the predicted results. If the predicted result goes closure, then there will be a slight shift in the global ranking points for both the teams. But if the actual result of the match goes further from the predicted result, then the shift in global ranking points for both the teams is greater. The match importance factor is also considered for global rankings. The matches are categorized as most important and least important. Olympic Games, World Cup, Volleyball Championship, Continental Championship, Volleyball Nations League and Volleyball Challenger Cup are considered as the most important matches. The new ranking system of FIB makes every match a team participates an important one. The set scores are also considered important along with winning matches. After each match, the global rankings for both the teams are updated. This gives both the competing teams of a match a chance to get to know their updated global ranking scores based on their current performance. It ensures that there is a fairest system in place for the qualification based tournaments. According to FIB, this ranking system reflects the actual strength of a team. Just like the other sports, Volleyball is also governed by both national and international governing bodies. I really hope that you now have a clear idea on the international governing body of volleyball and the newly updated FIB ranking system. If you like this video, 
give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to Wonder of Volleyball if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now and take care.